Have you ever been in a situation where you felt manipulated, but couldn't quite put your finger on how it was happening? Welcome to the shadowy realm of dark psychology, a subfield that explores the cunning techniques some individuals employ to control, manipulate, and dominate others. Unknown to many, these tactics pervade our daily interactions, subtly influencing our decisions and perceptions. Today, we're delving into 11 such tactics, each a unique tool in the manipulator's arsenal. We'll explore the insidious nature of gaslighting, the terror of fear-mongering, the deceptive allure of love bombing, and the persuasive power of social proofing. We'll also examine the chilling silence of the silent treatment, the guilt trips emotional blackmail, the forced teaming's false camaraderie, and the limiting effect of choice restriction. Additionally, we'll shed light on the tactics of amplifying problems, intentional mistakes, and self-abasement. Intrigued? Stay tuned as we unravel these tactics one by one. First up is gaslighting. Gaslighting is a psychological maneuver that manipulators employ to make their victims question their own reality. It's an insidious form of mental manipulation, named after the 1944 film Gaslight, where a husband systematically makes his wife doubt her own sanity. Picture this. You're confident about your memory of an event, but the manipulator insists that your recollection is incorrect, that it didn't happen the way you remember. They may even accuse you of lying or being delusional, this is gaslighting in action. It's a covert tactic, often used gradually, making it difficult for the victim to realize they're being manipulated. The purpose? To weaken the victim's self-trust and increase their reliance on the manipulator. It's a hallmark of abusive relationships, but it's not limited to them. Remember, knowledge is your best defense. Gaslighting can be subtle, but incredibly damaging. Next, we delve into the world of fear-mongering. This tactic is as sinister as it sounds. Fear-mongering involves instigating fear in others to manipulate their decisions and actions. It's a powerful technique often used by individuals with malicious intent. Imagine someone continuously feeding you stories about the terrible things that could happen if you don't follow their advice or comply with their demands. The more they instill fear, the more you feel compelled to seek their protection or guidance, making you susceptible to their control. It's like a puppeteer who uses fear as the strings to control the puppet. They play on your anxieties, exacerbating them, making you feel insecure and vulnerable. The real danger lies in the subtlety of fear-mongering. It often goes unnoticed until it's too late and you're already entangled in the web of manipulation. So, always be aware of the potential for fear-mongering in your interactions. Fear can be a powerful tool in the wrong hands. Now let's talk about love bombing. This psychological tactic is like a bombardment of affection, a sudden shower of love and attention. Imagine receiving constant messages, compliments, tokens of affection and promises of commitment. It's as if you're the center of someone's world and it can feel intoxicating. But here's the catch. This emotional high is not designed to last. Once you're hooked, the love bomber starts to withdraw. The affectionate messages become less frequent, the compliments start to fade and the promises seem hollow. What was once a torrent of love and attention dwindles to a trickle. You find yourself craving the high you once had, desperate to regain that feeling of being cherished and valued. But it's a manipulative game. The love bomber controls the supply of affection, making you dependent and easy to control. Love bombing is a tactic that can leave you craving more. Ever heard of social proofing? It's a psychological phenomenon where people mirror the actions of others in an attempt to reflect correct behavior. For instance, when in a new situation or environment, we often look to others to guide our actions. Dark manipulators exploit this instinct to control us. Let's take a quick dive into the world of social proofing. Imagine you're at a party and everyone's raving about a certain dish. You try it and it's not really to your taste, but you find yourself praising it too. That's social proofing at work. Now think about someone deliberately using this tactic to manipulate you. They might surround themselves with individuals who share their views, creating an echo chamber that makes their perspective appear as the norm. You might then feel pressured to conform, even if it goes against your own beliefs. So remember, while social proofing is a natural human instinct, it can become a tool in the hands of skilled manipulators. 
Social proofing can be a powerful influencer. Now, let's move on to the silent treatment. An intriguing tool in the arsenal of dark psychology, the silent treatment is a form of emotional manipulation that's as powerful as it is silent. Imagine someone close to you, suddenly stopping all communication without any explanation. The silence is deafening, isn't it? This manipulation tactic is often used by individuals seeking control over others. It's a way of punishing without uttering a single word, and it's incredibly effective. The person on the receiving end may feel a whirlwind of emotions, confusion, frustration, desperation, and even guilt. This emotional turmoil can lead to an imbalance of power, with the silent party gaining control. But here's the kicker. The silent treatment isn't just about control. It's also about causing emotional distress. It's a calculated move, designed to make the victim question their worth, their actions, and even their sanity. Silent treatment, a tactic that speaks volumes without uttering a word. Next up, guilt tripping. Picture this. A close friend keeps reminding you of that one time you let them down. They're not doing this out of spite, but rather to manipulate you into doing something for them. This, my friends, is a classic example of guilt tripping. Guilt tripping is a manipulative technique that involves making someone feel guilty to control or influence their behavior. It's a dark psychological tactic often used to gain power over others, subtly nudging them into doing things they wouldn't normally do. It's akin to planting a seed of self-doubt, making you question your actions and decisions. This can lead to feelings of indebtedness or obligation towards the person guilt-tripping you, making you more susceptible to their demands. It's a tactic that's often hard to spot, as it's wrapped in layers of emotional manipulation. Remember, guilt-tripping can lead you to question your own actions. Now, let's discuss forced teaming. This is a subtle tactic that manipulators use to create an artificial sense of camaraderie with their victims. It's a clever strategy that plays on our natural instinct to cooperate and collaborate with others. Imagine this. You're in a conversation with someone who keeps using we or us to describe a situation that you don't necessarily feel a part of. This is forced teaming in action. By using collective language, the manipulator is attempting to establish a connection where none exists. The intention is to make you lower your guard, to make you feel like you're in this together, like you're part of a team. But in reality, it's a ploy to manipulate your perception and control your actions. It's important to be aware of this tactic. If you feel someone is forcing a we scenario on you, step back and question their motives. Remember, real connection and teamwork are built over time and shared experiences, not forced. Forced teaming can make you feel like you're part of something you're not. Next, we delve into choice restriction. Often, manipulators use this tactic to subtly control your decision-making process. The idea is to limit the number of options you have, making the manipulator's preferred choice seem like the most favorable, or perhaps the only viable option. It's like painting you into a corner, where the only way out is the path they've carefully laid out for you. It's a devious strategy that can be hard to recognize, especially when it's cloaked in concern or benevolence. Consider a scenario where a friend consistently suggests two restaurants for dinner, one you dislike and another they know you're indifferent about. Over time, you might feel your choices are limited and you're subtly coerced to go along with their preference. This seemingly harmless act of narrowing choices is a powerful tool in the hands of a manipulator. It's a tactic that can slowly erode your freedom and decision-making ability. Choice restriction can make you feel powerless. Now let's talk about amplifying problems. This is a cunning tactic where problems, no matter how small, are blown out of proportion. It's like taking a molehill and turning it into a mountain. The purpose? To manipulate and control you. Imagine you're in a disagreement with someone. Instead of discussing the issue at hand, they amplify it, making it seem like a much bigger problem than it actually is. They may exaggerate the consequences or the impact of the issue. This can make you feel overwhelmed and anxious, making it easier for them to control you. Why? Because when we're stressed or anxious, we're less likely to think clearly. We're more likely to make impulsive decisions or to rely on others to make decisions for us. And that's exactly what they want. They want you to feel like you can't handle things on your own, that you need them to navigate through the crisis. Amplifying problems can make mountains out of molehills. Ever experienced someone making intentional mistakes? 
This tactic is a subtle yet effective tool in the dark psychology arsenal. An individual might intentionally make errors, misinterpret information, or present incorrect details. This isn't a slip of the tongue or a simple oversight. It's a calculated move. Here's how it works. The person making these errors is aiming to lure you into correcting them. And why would they want that? Well, in the process of rectifying the mistake, you might inadvertently reveal more information than you initially intended. You may provide insights, opinions or facts that they can later use to their advantage, potentially manipulating your actions or decisions. This tactic is often employed in casual conversations or debates. It's clever and underhanded, making it difficult to spot unless you're actively looking for it. So the next time someone seems to be making a lot of innocent mistakes, question whether they're really as innocent as they seem. Intentional mistakes can manipulate you into revealing more than you intended. Finally, let's discuss self-abasement. This tactic involves the manipulator intentionally belittling themselves in front of you. It's a psychological play, a gambit designed to evoke sympathy and guilt in you, the target. It's as if they are saying, look at me, I'm not a threat. How could someone as lowly as me possibly manipulate you? This tactic is insidiously effective because it plays on our inherent human kindness. We want to help, to uplift and to reassure. It's in our nature. So, when confronted with someone who appears to be self-deprecating, our instinct is to comfort and console. And in doing so, we inadvertently lower our defences. This is when the manipulator strikes subtly guiding your actions and decisions while you're under the impression that you're the one in control. It's a cunning strategy, one that requires keen awareness to detect and counter. Self-abasement, a tactic that can make you feel superior while you're being manipulated.